Hello! Welcome to our living room. We are from the Disney couch, your personal movie companion. <laughs> We're watching Big Hero 6. <laughs> Okay, well tonight we are watching Big Hero 6, movie number 54 out of 56. It's a recent movie. We remember it. We've seen it. Yeah, right? Yeah, cried very much and I still do every time. We know what we're getting into, so let's go straight to San Francisco in the year 2032 for Big Hero 6. I feel like sushi. And crying together in Big Hero 6. <laughs> Robots. Honestly, Ellie and I, like, we sob during the... You didn't sob. I sobbed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't sob quite as loudly as you. Yeah. <laughs> they just pull on your heartstrings and play with it until it's a big soggy mess. And they blow lots of stuff up. <laughs> and fun bot fighting scenes, too. I drew want the bot fighter. This is Hero's Megabot. This was a fun character that I think doesn't get quite enough recognition since it has such little screen time. But it's a really good invention and he like kicks butt with it. If you want to see the rest of my Disney couch art, you can follow my Instagram doodles for boredom. What I really like about this movie is all the characters are so lovable. From like the minor roles like at cast to like all of the big Hero 6 like I try to choose a favorite of them, and I can't. They're all amazing. My favorite funny scene was in the car chase when Wasabi is driving. He's like, you have to indicate your turn! One of the things that I really like Big Hero 6 is that it sort of makes fun of the whole superhero genre. Yeah. You know, the, the kid that's into comic books, he basically kind of narrates what's going to happen <laughs> throughout the movie because he's read so many superhero comics. You guys, do you feel this? Our origin story begins. We're going to be superheroes! And it is a great way for Disney and Marvel to join forces, you know, because Disney bought Marvel because it's what they do. Uh, but it, this was a kind of obscure Marvel property that they brought into the limelight. They decided that they wouldn't put this in the same universe as the Avengers and all that sort of stuff. But it still had those little Marvel-isms that were in there. Most notably, of course, the Stan Lee cameo, and that was awesome. So they did put the end credit scene in, and the producers decided on that fairly late in the game, after going to the theater to watch Guardians of the Galaxy, and then they were looking around, and everybody's staying for the credits, because it's Marvel. And they thought, oh geez, if we're doing a Marvel movie, we've got to do an end credit scene. But at least they didn't put anything wacky about Infinity Stones in there, so I was happy for that. And did you guys know that Big Hero 6 was wildly successful? Yeah, it, it's, it kind of seemed like it. It's the second highest grossing Disney animated film behind Frozen. Oh, okay, wow. I didn't expect of that. Yeah. yeah. It beat okay. out, like, Lion King? Apparently. I mean, Wikipedia said so. I think with this one, Disney was really just riding the high of Frozen, and that's why it was so successful. Because people saw Frozen, and they're like, wow, that was great, and then everyone went to see Big Hero 6, and they're like, yeah, Disney! Okay, well, Big Hero 6 was a tear-jerking movie. It was action-packed, it had Marvel characters, it made a boatload of money, but is it Disney? Yep. If you've been watching long enough, you know what time it is now. It's time to go to the chart! Do, 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 do. Book intro. No. Like, uh -uh. actually, did you guys know this is the first Disney movie on our list that does not show the title? Yeah, it does, but at the very end. Yeah. Oh, weird. Like, it just, like, started, and then they never introduced. Yeah. And then we're the just sitting here, what movie are we watching? I was so confused till right at the end. Oh, this is Big Hero 6! I think it's because they they never once say Big Hero 6 throughout the whole movie. 
No, when they say, who are we? And then Big Hero 6 flashes on the screen. You're like, oh, okay, they named themselves Big Hero 6, but that's like a good conclusion because now they're a solid superhero group. Right. No book opening. Mm, nope, nothing even close. Missing parents. Yes! yes. I really played the orphan card with this one. They had to tell you, remember? You they died when, I was, died when I was three, and you don't remember? <laughs> dad with a stash. Yeah. Yes. But there's no dad. We don't know where Tadashian Hero's dad is. We never saw a picture of him. But we get a small glimpse of Fred's dad, who happens to be canonically Stan Lee, who has a great stash. Talking animals. The only animal we see is Mochi in that cat. Don't what talk. about yeah. is Baymax? Baymax is definitely not an animal. Yeah. So the hairy baby doesn't talk, and that's all we got. So yeah. Unlikely partnership. Hero. Hero was repressing his emotions, so he didn't want to be around Baymax. But then Baymax ran off, and so he was stuck trying to get him. And all and Baymax then, wanted to do was to help his patient feel better, because that's what he's programmed to do. But like, pretty much, as soon as they went through peril together, he's like, okay, I can use this dude, and then, you know, their troubles were over. So, yeah, it was, I don't know, I'm not buying it. I don't think it's there's enough bribery in there, or they just were kind of stuck together by circumstance, and it's not like their relationship really went through much of a, a development. That is true. But it was more of a one-sided, unlikely partnership, if that makes sense. Because yeah. Hero definitely changed. He went first from just being, like, annoyed and grouchy, you know, grouchy not wanting to have to deal with this inflatable robot trying to shove him back in his box, <laughs> to actually grieving the loss of him. So. Yes. Yeah, so but Hero developed as a character, he has a relationship to Baymax, mm -hmm. but... I don't think we call that unlikely I partnership. Yeah, character it, development is not unlikely partnership. I give it half marks because it's like his side of the unlikely partnership. Like, mm -hmm. Baymax mm -hmm. pretty much just stayed the same the entire time. Couch vote! Three, two, one, go! Alright, we got three thumbs down and a half mark. I'm so sorry guys, I brought yeah. this one up, but Danny won me over. There's yeah. no bribery at all. It's true. So, it was close, yeah. but not close enough. Hidden Mickey. Yes! Yay! There was a really cute one on the back of Wasabi's car. It looked like a car logo, but it was Mickey ears. Yeah, three little circles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And there's another one that's really hard to spot when Hero climbs on the back of Baymax 2.0 mm -hmm. on his shoes in gray on a black circle is a little Mickey emblem. And there's all kinds of fun Easter eggs in this one. Lots of stitch. Yeah. Yeah. Stitches in a photo. There's Hans on a statue that gets destroyed, and Hans on a wanted poster next to Flynn Rider in the police station. Also in the police station, on the officer's desk, there's a picture of Esther, the animal control officer from Bolt, right next to her. It's a picture of Bolt. No! No! Willow is destroying the Disney cast. Alcohol. Yep. Quick glimpse of one when Cray is doing the grand opening of his building. There's champagne. Yeah, he's got a glass of champagne and he toasts to the future. I don't think he ever gets to drink it. No, no I don't yeah. think so. <laughs> it was funny because when you're watching it, Ellie's like, oh, every party ends that way. The guy in a kabuki mask shows up and transdimensional portals and just, yeah. Yep. Every time. One of the funny uh, parts of the movie is when Baymax is very low on battery and he um, seems like he's very intoxicated and it's really hard not to laugh at those scenes because, you know, everyone's had that one friend. So yeah, we can give it a point for alcohol. Even though the holding of the alcohol and the drunkenness scene were in no way connected, I think we'll still count it. Witchy villain. No. Nope. No. Well, just science, not creepy. witchcraft. It yeah. didn't have to be a scary mask. Like, yeah. It had to be a mask, but it could be like a kitten. And you know the weird thing is I never ever heard of a kabuki mask until this movie. Yeah. Like, what is it? English what is kabuki? A classical Japanese dance drama. It's like yeah. Japanese WWE. Oh, okay. okay. At any rate, it looked creepy, but there was no witchcraft, mm. just really science. smart science. Yep. Ugly villain. I don't think so. What are you doing? Nope. Look pretty normal. Have abnormally yeah. large nose, but that's Disney. Yeah. Everyone in this movie had abnormal noses. So. Yeah. <laughs> Big Max had no nose. 
Is he no. a villain? I don't think so. <laughs> Death by falling. Baymax, like, kind of. Like, he was just floating in space. No. Yeah, and the scene when he was getting sucked into the void, he was like... No, it totally looked like falling. he was falling. He definitely was not falling. There's no gravity in space, so you can't fall. He didn't yeah. even technically die. Mm. He more just was beyond reach. Um, Floated what? away. Hit song. <laughs> They had the lyrics on, we were watching with subtitles, and those lyrics make absolutely no yeah. sense. Like, Wait, what's the one about that glass thing? I'm the sand in the bottom half of the hourglass. <laughs> but, you know, it's good, screamy harmonizing. It is, yeah. It's, you know, the emotion is there, and it really conveys that great emotion. If you're going to build a team of superheroes <laughs> by using science and blowing up statues of haunts, then, yeah, this but, is like, a good thing to use. I think it was really smart for them to put a follow, follow Up Boy song into this movie because I knew a lot of people who weren't really Disney fans, but Fall Out Boy was, like, I think at its peak then, and lots of people said, I'm gonna see Big Hero 6 for the Fall Out Boy. Yeah, Immortals is a hit song. It sold one million units, and so it's certified platinum, so I'm pretty sure that counts. Yeah. yeah that's pretty good. Yep. Well, I enjoyed it too. Mm -hmm. Romantic duet. No, uh, no, no romance. No romance whatsoever. Mm, not, not a hint. hint romance. Not, yeah. Well, Jaira had a dream that Hero. <laughs> yeah. I didn't. Um, unfortunately, I did. I didn't actually have a crush on Hero, but in my dream, I did. He's the boy of your dreams. <laughs> unfortunately, I didn't sing a romantic duet with Hero in my dream. Ah, uh, that's too bad. <laughs> yes, no romance and not a musical. Mm. Right. So no kiss either. Mm -mm. No. Not even oh, close. Honey what? Lemon kisses someone. Oh, Doesn't she? Oh yeah, she hero? kisses Hero <laughs> on his oh, cheeks, yeah. but that wasn't exactly a the. No, or it wasn't kiss on the, the lips. Kiss. Yeah, it was. It was kiss. two brief kisses to show how exuberant she is. It yes, definitely does not count. Mm. Yep. Not count. Right. Resurrection. Yes. Yes. Baymax. I mean, I mean, Baymax didn't technically die. He was just lost to the void. Mm -hmm. But then they rebuilt him, and that was essentially a resurrection because. He was gone, and he wasn't going to come back. But then he came back! Yay! And it was the same chip. Yeah. He gave yeah. Hero his chip and It was the chip. same Baymax. Yeah, that was the part that really cemented it for me when he said, Hello, Hero. Because he remembered! Mm -hmm. And so that meant that Baymax had all the same memories in that little green chip. But what I'm wondering is how did he get the chip into his fist without Hero noticing Yay! and without going into death mode? Like, that's the chip that holds all his caring for Hero, and if he takes that out, he's just gonna be like, death mode. Yeah, his Yay. eyeballs turn red, and then, you know, all he knows is hammer fist. There is another res resurrection I just thought of. Really? Abigail Callahan. Oh. Everyone oh. thought she was dead. Yeah. And then true. she came back and she was alive. And, you, you know, he just gets shoved into the back of a police car. Yeah. And he sees his daughter, you, it was clever animation, he can see what's happening, his daughter getting loaded into an ambulance through the reflection of the car window. The police car window. Yeah, yeah. so that was really well done. And so it's just sort of a, hey kids, if you go down a wrong path in your grief, this is what happens to you. Well, let's total it up. We know The Big Hero 6 is a great movie. Let's find out how many Disney points it scored. Total is one, two, three, four, five, Big Hero 6. Well, that's fitting. <laughs> <laughs> Big Hero 6 gets six points, which puts it comfortably right here, kind of in the middle of the chart. So it's really hard to believe, but we only have two movies two left. Movies left on our quest for the ultimate Disney movie. So if you've been enjoying following this quest with us, uh, give us a big thumbs up and I hope that you are as excited as we are to find out which of the movies is the ultimate Disney movie. Stay tuned, we're going to give some bonus points to make the challenge a little more interesting. That's right, the okay. ultimate Disney bonus round is coming soon. There's going to be some bonus points given out which may change the results. So. Stay tuned for that, and like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Disney Couch. Bye! Bye! Now can we watch the bonus features? Yeah, let's do it! Yay! It's a school night. Uh.
Okay, here we go. I can't take you seriously, Jared. Ready? <laughs> that should be like a meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, here we go.